what's going on and welcome to another episode of the new music. My name is George Strombolopoulos. Nice to see you again on the show today. We go back in the day with uh, someone who is arguably the biggest musician to ever come out of Africa, Nardwar versus Guar, the Donnas, and also Sir Bob Geldof. But we'll start with this. Back in 1991, in Detroit, people mostly only heard of either Eminem or Kid Rock, right? Well, there was another outfit that was formed. It was a costumed hip-hop duo that went by the name Insane Clown Posse, and Insane being the operative term. They've been together since, uh, pretty notorious for the live shows, mostly because they dumped gallons of low-rent pop on their fans who are affectionately referred to as juggalos, among other things. Lyrics, lots of violence, lots of misogyny, but it appears that things may be actually shifting for the positive. We had a chance to spend Devil's Night, that's the night before Halloween, with ICP in Detroit. <laughs> This is Juggalo's Christmas. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody waits for Christmas. We wait for Halloween. If you smoke my DJ, hell yeah, smoke, hell yeah, smoke, hell yeah. This band is my life. This is Juggalo. This is Juggalo family up in here, man. Arizona up in this piece. What? Woo woo. Woo. From Arizona? Phoenix, Arizona. You drive me for this. We flew. We flew. For this show. We flew for this show only for this show. From the Cape to Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo. What you know about that? Hey, Louis. All the way here for the show? Yep, we drove nine and a half hours. All right, so you ready to do it? I'm ready to we'll do, do it. it. You ready? We're doing it? All right, let's Sex? Let's do what we do. All right. Hoo, 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 hoo. All the wicked jugglers. Where the f*** you at? Okay, see, this is where we are. But in order for all of this to make any sense, we've got to go back to the start. We both were security guards here. The first time we played here, when we were opening for E, I had an axe. Yeah. And I stuck the axe in the stage. Boy, that's probably the hole right there still, man. <laughs> this is where House of Pain or Everlast got into a fight with D12. This is the spot? Right here on this stage. Yeah. Kurt Cobain's feet purpose. rocked this stage years before he blew his chin off. Right here! This is also pretty much the spot where you met another uh, Detroit rapper. Well, we'd have to go over here. Okay, let's go. Right here, to be exact. Nice. Hi, my name is... And uh, it was Friday night. What year was this? This was 1998. My name is... And Eminem flyer. handed me a flyer. And he was like, why don't y'all come to my party? And I said, well, what is this? I looked at it, and it said, special guest, Esham had a question mark and it said Kid Rock and had a question mark and ICP and I was like why you got our names on this flyer man I was like are these people coming because we ain't heard about it and he was like well you know I'm just saying you might come I got the question mark I'm asking you now you might What's be up? there y'all want to come yeah. <laughs> and I was like man, you probably get a bunch of people to listen to our music think we're gonna be there doing a show or something man don't be handing that shit out with our name on it and he was just like all right dog all right, well, real hip-hop, backpack, fool, you know what I mean? I was just like, ah. For him to be pulling home moves like that on the, the pioneers That's of what he does, respect, you, know? you know what I'm saying? In this city, like, all that controversialness that he's got, in this city, we've been hearing that for years. Let's keep it old school. What about the Fago? Where's your Fago? It's cheap. And it's awesome. That's all you gotta know. Why are we throwing soda all over everybody's good clothes? Because everybody there understands that tonight or any night we come to town, we don't want to make sense. We're the insane clown posse. Everything always has to make sense elsewhere. You're clowns. We can't We're happen, clowns. Right? Let's turn down button your we don't want to make sense, you know and nobody in the crowd does either. They want to come and be stupid, man.
record you talk about smacking bitches into fake titties. So the idea is that you have this sort of persona that exists here, right. and then now you have to step out and say, not what it is. Because that, everything we've ever said, is our former entertainment. Yeah. It's like Andrew Dice Clay used to be. <laughs> it's like some people might find us, a comedian, uh, uh, offensive. The man is an ass, the man is a phony pole. Bitch, I'm a man you can talk to. But after you leave, I'ma stalk you. If you're a little kid, I'ma take ya. And if you're neck, I'ma break ya. People have always asked, and we've always just said it's personal. Well, what the butterfly was, was when I was a little kid, me and my brother caught one of them huge butterflies. And um, it died on us, you know, and we buried it in our backyard. And we made a vow. I was like seven, you know what I mean? My brother was probably like nine. And we said, one day we'll make it to heaven so we can apologize to the butterfly. Now, we were just little kids. And we didn't know any better. But that's why that was a pure vow. That's why what makes that so magical is because as we grew up, we adapted to everything around us. And we got dirtier. And we just became what's around us and forgot about the beauty of a butterfly. I'm fighting and I'm bumping on shit like a hockey puck. And my mother's like, what the we changed as individuals growing up in this game, you know what I'm saying? And, and going out there and playing. And then we're not mad no more, man. If we made another album, we'd be fake as f I hate this day, but f more crap, cause I can't tell. He's just one of them. Every night I see him on my little TV, he's always looking at me. Why? And they get to that last track, and they hear those last few words, they think you're turning into Creed. Yeah. They think you're going to be Striper. This so, is their creed right here. <laughs> you know? I got your creed hanging. <laughs> we'll always do the wicked shit. Yeah. The fact is, this is the God's honest truth. If you ain't with us, forget us, because we plan on sounding like that for the rest of our lives.